Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Arc Gold version. This is episode 51 now, and in the last episode, we took down the second gym leader of the Kanto region, Misty, but for us it's the third. But now it's finally time to explore South Front City. We have went there previously like twice just to go through and then get back to another route. Um, but yeah, South Front City is literally right here. So here we go. We have made it to Saffron City. Now, as a matter of fact, this is the biggest city in the Kanto region. Um, but yeah, one reason that we didn't actually explore this place uh, previously is that I wanted to like kind of do the places you can go because um, it's, it's in the right in the center. So like I was gonna do the things around it first, but yeah, literally the biggest place, Saffron City, the biggest city in Kanto, shining with the golden light. And yeah, next time we'll go to Lavender Town, <laughs> like once we're done all here in Saffron City. But we're gonna start off here, Kanto Johto Magnet Train Line, Saffron City Station. This is what will take you from uh, here to um, yeah, well, um, Johto. Um, yeah, beep! I'm so sorry, but you need a magnet train pass to get on the magnet train. Uh, yeah, you are able to do that, but you kind of got to do some more things to get the magnet train, but that'll take you back to Goldenrod in Johto. But yeah, let's go and explore this place. So, this house kind of looks like a Lego brick on the top of it, but anyway. My daughter likes to mimic Pokemon. Her mimicry has earned her the nickname Copycat around here. So, yeah. These, the parents... Uh, kind of talk about little girl and yeah, it's, here's Blissy, Bliss Blues. Um, yeah, here she is. What the? Hi, I heard that. Why am I putting on a voice? It's me. Hi, I heard that you lost your cherished Poke doll. If I find it, you'll give me a magnet train pass. I'll go find it for you. You think you lost it when you went to Vermilion City? Pardon? I shouldn't decide what you should do, but I'm really worried. What if someone finds it? So yeah, this is kind of copycat, likes to mess around and just kind of transform into everything. But yeah, we've got to go find um, her doll and she'll give us a magnet train pass. So we've got to go look for that. can't actually remember if it's uh, in this city. I don't know, I guess, we'll, <laughs> I guess we'll have a look. I don't think it is, but anyway. Going into an alley for the first time makes me sort of anxious. You should probably not go into some dark alleys, that's that's for sure. But yeah, we I was gonna fly here originally and start the episode off here, but we never actually looked like came this way at the Pokemon Center originally, but here Don't call me Uncle Psychic, Mr. Psychic's house. Here we go. Don't understand why he's a fisherman, why isn't he just a psychic guy? Uh, but anyways uh, I got it! You wanted this! We get TM29, which is the move that I said you could come back here beforehand. It's Psychic. Yes. Here is Psychic. 90 power, special type, Psychic type move. And has the chance of lowering the foe's special defense. Um, which is very nice, very nice. Um, yeah, it's not about the magnet train here, but this. What is actually called? Uh, it looks like a fire hydrant to me. Um, but yeah, there's to the go over to Lavender Town, uh, which we'll be going soon. But here is literally the biggest building. Um, Silph Co. Office Building. Hello, just when you leave. Oh, I, you know what? Just because I don't think I've ever actually talked to Cameron in this position. Here we go. There we are. Here's our team right in front of the Silph Co. Building. Good, good. We've got a nice picture. You can see all the pictures on your PC. We'll go check that out eventually. This is Silph Co, famous for Pokemon merchandise. In the past Team Rocky wanted the company because of that. Yeah, this is where you originally got the Master Ball um, in the previous games. Um, yeah, there's not really much going on here anymore. It's kind of just, yeah, not honestly much going on, like I said. Um, yeah, he's going to give us the upgrade here, which... Um, if you give it to Porygon and trade, um, what's it called? You can get Porygon too. 
So, yeah, you're not actually going to be allowed in up the elevator. So, he's like, sorry you wasted the trip, but there's an upgrade for my apology. Um, so, yeah, honestly, that's pretty much about it at the moment. I didn't actually talk to you, but I'm pretty sure you're pretty useless. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to carry up here. We get the Pokemon, and you know what? I'm actually going to, uh, buy some things. <laughs> Let's go get some hyper potions. We can get a lot. We can literally get 77 right now. I'm gonna go get 19. I think that's enough because I always like to be on like kind of like a specific number. Now we're on 30. Uh, now we gotta get 30 revives. You know, I'll get eight more. Our Pokemon haven't been fighting as much as I have, I have been being healed. Uh, we should be good on everything else. You know, I will get max repel. So I'm gonna get 83. Jesus. You know, I'll get 39. Because I don't like really going back to buy Max Repels. Because they can, they can, you know, be pretty expensive. Uh, yeah, we got a Nugget last time, so I guess I could sell that if I wanted to. Dust Balls! We are going to see quite a few Legendaries soon. So definitely consider picking these up. They will increase the catch rate of you uh, if you are in a cave or at night. Closest to the Master Ball, it's literally better than... It's basically an Ultra Ball, but even better. It's better than an Ultra Ball, basically. Yes, definitely pick those up. I could sell the Nugget, but I don't really see much of a point. And it's kind of going to be dragging along the video, and I didn't want the video to be that long. Um, yeah, it's basically... Everyone here is just talking about the, uh, the Magnet Train. And uh, that guy's kind of a bit fat. <laughs> Body shaming! I'm joking. Anyway, Saffron City Pokemon Gym Leader Sabrina, the mistress of psychic type Pokemon. This gym, we will do it next episode. Like I've said before, but here, yeah, everyone is welcome fighting Dojo in this magnificent building. Hello, Crowdy King, the fighting Dojo's master, is in the cave in Johto for further training. This is the building you'll be able to rematch gym leaders. Yes, you heard me right, gym leaders. I believe you can start uh, rematching them after you've done the rematch with the Elite Four when all the levels are a lot higher. So, for us to do that, we're going to need all 16 gym badges. But, yeah, for now, we're going to leave that alone. I will show off um, us taking on the... Uh, What's it called? All the gym leaders, I guess. But yeah, we literally could do Sabrina now. But I wanted this episode to be a little shorter so we could do two in one day. So yeah, basically, that's how to get psychic. And yeah, the missing doll we'll have to be on the lookout for. Which, yes, like I said, is not in Saffron City. I believe it's in Fuchsia City. I'm not, I can't remember. I believe it is, though. But next time, we'll be taking on. The fifth, well, I always got these mixed up. Fifth, I always thought she was the fifth, but she's actually the sixth. Next time we'll be taking on the sixth gym leader of the Kanto region, Sabrina. See you guys then.